What's going on, everybody? I'm Party B, and welcome back to Gate Zero Demo. Uh, I think we're going to try to finish the demo today. We've got a lot of stuff to look at in this little courtyard area. These special facts here, I think that's what we're going to hit up first. I don't know if that, those have anything to do with the riddle that our grandmother gave us, but that's what we're going to do first, if we can find out where these are. Oh, maybe this. The slaughtering area. Eight pillars supported cedar beams on which sacrificed animals were hung and flayed. Next to the eight pillars were marble tables on which the sacrifices were washed. The head of the animals were secured to rings in the ground so that they could be killed and their blood collected. So is that the first one? Yes. There's another special fact here and here. Is that this here? Sacrificing, I think so. Sacrifices played a very important part in the worship services of the Jews. When people broke the law unintentionally, they could receive atonement for their sin through the offering of an animal's lifeblood. But those sacrifices couldn't eradicate the sin in human nature, which made it so that everyone without exception was disobedient in God's laws, either through weakness or negligence. But now through Jesus, there is a greater and more perfect covenant by which we offer ourselves, our own will, as a spiritual sacrifice. I urge you to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true worship. Do not be conformed to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may discern what is the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 1 through 2. So it looks like they're just the same as the scrolls that are on the walls and stuff. So some of them have history stuff, some of them have clues. Is it in here or is it over here? Probably this one. The Pharisees. Pharisees were members of a party that believed in resurrection and in following legal traditions that were ascribed not to the Bible, but to the traditions of the fathers. Like the scribes, they were also well-known legal experts, hence the partial overlap of membership of the two groups. Aha, a new word collected. We're going to have to try to figure out this riddle as well. So I, I still think that, like, I don't know if these are supposed to, like, match up or do something over here. So, like, if you turn it, they, they turn like that i'm just wondering like how to get them to match up like are these i assume that there's certain oh wait i think that they're supposed to align to this middle one here i mean they're obviously supposed to match up somehow i don't know i think we have to actually figure out more clues before we can solve that one so let's go ahead and search around some more so whenever i loaded back into the game today i had to redo everything it's it said continue but there's a lot of stuff that i had to go ahead and redo which is which is fine so i don't i can't remember exactly which ones that i've read so far through here um it looks like i think it kept them open yeah yeah, it did keep some of them open. So let's go ahead and just read through these here. See if we can pick up any more clues to the riddle. The altar. The altar formed on a base of unhewn stones is also called the altar of burnt offerings. In Hebrew, it is known as mis... I don't know that word. Not only animals, but also grain and peace offerings were burnt before God here. On each of the four corners of this was a protrusion called a horn, which were an essential part of the altar. If these were damaged in any way, the altar was considered unfit for use. So is this one here? The Kabesh. On the southern end of the altar was the Kabesh, a ramp that led up to the top of the altar. The priest would ascend to the ramp on the right side, circle around the altar from the east to the west, then descend the ramp on the left side. Oh, that's right. We still need to find the priest's robes too. Yes, forgot about that. Can we get in this door? No. The Hall of Hewn Stone. The Hall of Hewn Stone was where the great Sanhedrin met, the Jewish nation's highest court of 71 jurists. It was specially constructed partially on sacred ground and partially on the less holy area of the Temple Mound complex, since sitting was not permitted in the most sacred place. It was here that the most important issues of Jewish law and tradition were deliberated, debated, and decided. Here was where the capital offenses were tried, and only in the hours of daylight, which is why the trial of Jesus at the high priest's house at night was totally illegal and unjust in many other ways as well. So what else do we got here? I think there's a couple more. Yeah, there's one here, one here, one here. These ones we can't get because we don't have the priest robes yet. So what's this over here? Doink. The court of the Israelites was the first area in the inner court after entering through the Nicanor gate. Here, Israelite men watched in reverent silence as their sacrifices to God were burnt on the brazen altar. Access to this area was restricted to those who were ritually pure. Oh, there's so many more out here. Okay, instead of reading all these back to back to back, so it's uh, I'm not just like reading to you the entire time. We'll we'll go back and forth. Let's uh let's see what we're supposed to do here. Find the priest robes in the Roman quarter. I think that's where we need to go now. 
So yeah, let's go here and do that. That way I'm not just reading to you the entire, entire, entire time. I know some people like that, some people don't. So we'll just have a happy little medium of reading and exploration. Can I not get there? Close to the edge here, please head back. Well, what, how am I supposed to get over there? Is there another way out? It's a shame I can't bring my horse in here. It would make traveling so much easier. What is this? Oh, more scrolls. Prophecies about Jesus. He would do all the will of God. Prophecy. You do not delight in sacrifice and offering. You open my ears to listen. You do not ask for a whole burnt offering or a sin offering. Then I said, see, I have come in the scroll. It is written about me. I delight to do your will, my God, and your instruction is deep within me. Psalm 46 through 8. Fulfillment. Therefore, as he was coming into the world, he said, you did not desire a sacrifice and offering, but you prepared a body for me. You did not delight in whole burnt offerings and sin offerings. Then I said, see, it is written about me in the scroll. I have come to do your will. God. Hebrews 10, 5 through 7. Okay, so there's a lot more scrolls and stuff here. Can we actually get out of the city through here? Man, look at this place. There's so much more to it. Wow. So let's go. Let's see if we can get out of the city over this way. I know there's a lot more stuff to read, but let's go follow the mission here. Interesting. Why can't I bring my... Can I, like, ride the, the horse around this side? So it definitely won't let me bring him through. Okay. Hmm. There must be a way around these guards. Must be a way to get around the guards. Okay, let's see. So we got to sneak around the guards. We'll go sneaky, sneaky. So we're in a restricted area. What area is this? This, oh, it's, okay. So it's the Roman quarter. So yeah, it makes sense that we're not supposed to be back here. Okay. I am crouch. Why are you telling me to crouch? Okay. So how am I supposed to get around this guy? Oh, there's some, okay, there's some pottery out there. Yeah, let's go right here. There's someone here. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, walk away, walk away. The Feast of the Tabernacles, called Sukkot in Hebrew, was the last in a series of feasts and holidays that the Lord appointed for the Jews to observe. After observing the tradition set out by God, the people would live in shelters or booths made of branches or tents for seven days to remember the 40 years they were in the wilderness. It was during the Feast of the Tabernacles in Jerusalem that we read in John about Jesus. On the last and most important day of the festival, Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. The one who believes in me, as the scripture he said, will have streams of living water flow from deep within him. John 7, 37 through 38. Oh, he's back. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to have to have to do it again. I just wanted to read that. There's someone here. There we go. Okay, let's get going again. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me, you don't see me, you don't see me, you don't see me. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. What's that noise? There we go. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, we made it up here. Are we safe now? Who's there? Yep. Nobody. Nobody's here. So we gotta get over there, so we're gonna need to wonder if we can do this. Who's that? What was that? Hide back here. Let's just go. Let's just go. All right. So we're going to have to make it back out of here too, I, I assume. <laughs> it's going to be fun. There we go. Cool. So can we wear these? Aha, I am now priest. Look at me. Okay. So we can just drop down here. Okay. Cool. Ow. Okay, so where are we at now in relation to everything else? We're right here. So I guess we go back in and go to the temple. I think that's that's what uh, the next the next goal is. Maybe stop and read a couple things on the way back. I think the more stuff that we read, the more clues we'll probably get. But I don't know if the demo, if that's just something specifically for the demo, the riddle, or if it's something that's going to be that we're not going to be able to get because it's a demo. So I don't I don't really know. Prayer, dear Lord, I wish for a new Mercedes. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so I think this is a stairs. Yeah, here's something here. Tyropian Valley, the last of Jerusalem's three principal valleys. The rugged Tyropian was the main street or the market district in Jesus' time with shops and market stalls lining the valley. Bridges above led to the Temple Mount. In modern times, this valley is largely hidden by debris that has accumulated over the centuries. So I wonder what we're gonna ha what's gonna happen if like we get caught pretending to be a priest? Probably not good. The temple historical background. The temple was first built in Jerusalem, the city of God's people, to replace the impermanent, transportable tabernacle the Israelites had carried with them throughout their 40 years in the wilderness. This was the place where the priests served God and sacrificed to him, and where the Ark of the Covenant resided. The tabernacle was structured as God had instructed Moses, and when the temple was built, God also gave very specific instructions about how it was to be constructed. But this one, Temple Historical Background 2. God gave Moses instructions about the construction of the tabernacle on Mount Sinai, telling him to build it using it, the free will offerings of the people. They gave these offerings from the goods they had brought with them out of Egypt. This is the third one? Yeah. Temple Historical Background 3 of 3. The tabernacle served as the center of worship for the children of Israel for the 40 years they wandered in the wilderness until the generation who had disobeyed God had died. Then the next generation, led by Joshua, were ready to cross the Jordan and fight to establish God's kingdom in the land of Canaan. The tabernacle was then erected in Shiloh. All right. Okay. Let's go to the temple. Wait, what's this? I guess it's another way in? Okay. Okay, here we are back at the temple. What's this? The altar, too, too. Okay, so this is one we hadn't read before. You can read about the horns of the altar in Leviticus 4.34. Then the priest is to take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger and apply it to the horns of the altar of burnt offering. He is to pour out the rest of its blood at the base of the altar. It is also mentioned in Psalm 118.27, the Lord is God and has given us light. Bind the festival sacrifice with cords to the horns of the altar. So it's cool how they're like introducing like little pieces of the history as well to everything that's going on. There's something over here. Yeah, there's one in this bucket here. I can't has. There we go. Prophecies about Jesus. His blood was poured out for our atonement. Prophecy. For the life of a creature is in the blood, and I have appointed it to you to make atonement on the altar for your lives. Since it is the lifeblood that makes atonement. Leviticus 17.11. Fulfillment. And he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Matthew 26, 27 through 28. Let's get in here. Hey, hey, we can just walk right in. That's okay. We can just come in now since we have robes. Cool. Let's read this. The holy place. The holy place contained the seven branched lampstand, the golden menorah, the golden incense altar, and the table of showbread. Each of these had a special significance in the temple service. Okay, so here's all those things. Is there anything else that we need to look at before we talk to him? Something over here? Okay. The most holy place, Holy of Holies. The Holy of Holies, when originally constructed by King Solomon in the first temple, contained the Ark of the Covenant, which contained a flask of manna, Aaron's budded rod, and the tablets of the covenant. The Ark of the Covenant was lost sometime between the first and second temple eras, so this area was emptied in Herod's temple. Although there was a slightly raised platform where the Ark should be, only the high priest was permitted to enter the Holy of Holies, and then only once a year on Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. But the high priest alone enters the second room, and he does that only once a year, and never without blood, which he offers for himself for the sins of the people had committed in ignorance. Hebrews 9, 7. The Holy of Holies was separated from the holy place by a curtain known as the Veil. This veil is referred to multiple times in the book of Hebrews. Okay. The showbread is baked regularly, so it's always fresh. This is to show our willingness to sacrifice to God. And when we replace it, we may eat the old ones. And you know what? It's just as fresh, even on the last day. But, but Abba... Why are there only 11 breads here? What? One of the priests must have missed it. No. Max, would you be able to go and get another showbread? So there are 12 here, as there should be. How does he know who I am? I'm confused how he knows who I am, but we got to get the showbread now. Do we come through here? Yeah. There we go. 
Hey man, you missed one. Oh, so I need, oh, I need to make it. Okay. So I need flour and salt. Okay. Where do I get these, uh, this flour and salt? Can I have flour and salt, dude? Yeah. How did that guy know my name? Like, obviously we're traveling from the future. Find the ingredients laying around. So I just have to search. Okay. Well, we're on a mission to search, which means that we'll probably run into some more things to read, which is good. Oh no. I forgot about that. I'm on fire. Oh, I jumped right into another one. Cool. So can I like pay for stuff? Here's another scroll. Prophecies about Jesus. He would do miracles. Prophecy. Then the eyes of the blind would, will be open and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame will leap like a deer and the tongue of the mute will sing for joy. Isaiah 35, 5 through 6. Fulfillment. Jesus replied to them, go and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight and the lame walk. Those with leprosy are cleansed. The deaf hear and the dead are raised, and the poor are told the good news, and blessed is the one who isn't offered by me. Matthew 11, 4 through 6. Hey, what's up? What's this? Hello. Prophecies about Jesus. He would be Lord over both Jew and Gentile. Prophecy. On the day, the root of Jesse will stand as a banner for the peoples. Prophecy. On that day, the root of Jesse will stand as a banner for the peoples. The nations will look to him for guidance, and his resting place will be glorious. Isaiah 11.10 Fulfillment. Since there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, because the same Lord of all richly blesses all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10.12-13 Okay, so there's somebody over here. Can we get salt from you? Frankincense, aloe, salt. There we go. We'll just buy all of it, you know? We'll help you out. Okay, so we have salt. So what else do we need? Salt and something else? I don't remember. Feast of the First Fruits. The Feast of the First Fruits was a time for the Jews to offer the best of what they had to the Lord. It was to be a sheaf of the first fruits of the harvest, a male lamb without blemish, a grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil, and a drink offering of wine. You must not eat bread, roasted grain, or any new grain until this very day. And until you have brought the offering to your God, this is to be a permanent statute throughout your generations, wherever you live. Leviticus 23, 14. So we are coming back here to find out what the last ingredient was because I forgot. What was it again, dude? I can't find out. No way. No way. What was the other ingredient? Salt and something else. Come on. Wait, what's this? What is this? Oh. Oh, it was in the basement. <laughs> wow i mean at least i found somebody to sell us salt that was kind of cool hey man here you go hey now what do i do oh there's a bunch more i've got to pick up down here okay i think i think that's what i'm supposed to do i just need a bunch more maybe now i can give this to him to make the show bread oh i'm stuck what do i what do i what do i do do i do i give I can't do anything with it. Okay, so I had to go ahead and just restart the game. It wouldn't let me make the showbread even after I found everything. So I had to redo everything. So hopefully now it lets me make it because everything's still in my inventory from before. So we still have the, yeah, the salt and the flour. So we still have that. I've also got two sets of priest robes now, which is kind of funny. Um, okay, cool. So now we can make it. So we've got the showbread. There we go. Now we can deliver it. Yeah, beforehand, um, after I ran around and like looked for stuff, it didn't give me the option to talk to him. Um, so I don't know if it's just an issue with the demo, but uh, we got it fixed and here we are. Thank you very much. This is good. We always need to be willing to sacrifice as God has bidden us. All right, Sabbath. So does that, I, I'm wondering if that, like whenever we find a word, it unlocks more of the picture here. I think, I think so. Oh, I figured it out. I don't know how I did that. So that's, that's done. What is this? Find the right item for each symbol. Wait, what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so there's that. What's, where's that at? Is that on there? Yeah, so it'd be wheat, right? Maybe? Come on. And this one. Oh, okay, okay, so now I'm like actually unlocking. At that time, Jesus went through the blank on the blank. His disciples were hungry. Went through the grain field. 
on the Sabbath, right? Yeah. They were hungry and began to pick some heads of grain and eat them. When the blank saw this, the Pharisees, yeah, they said to him, look, your blank are doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath. Okay, disciples. All right, there we go. Okay, so I get it now. I get it now. Okay, so then this one here would be, what is that? I don't know what that is, but sure. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. He entered the house of God and he and his companions ate the blank bread, which was not lawful for them to do. The... Oh yeah, consecrated bread, which is not lawful for them to do, but only for the priests. Or haven't you read the law that the priests have on the Sabbath duty in the temple blank the Sabbath and yet are innocent? I don't know if we have that one though. I think that might be the last one there. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Um, Triangle sets olives. Scroll up, olives. There we go. Okay. If you had known what these words mean, I desire blank, not blank. mercy, not sacrifice. You would not have condemned the innocent for the son of man is Lord of the Sabbath. Okay. So this one, I don't think by the law, the priests on Sabbath duty in the temple blank the Sabbath and yet are innocent. Sabbath, the Sabbath, Greenfield the Sabbath, Pharisees, the Sabbath, <laughs> disciples consecrated the Sabbath, peace, the Sabbath, shepherd, the Sabbath, mercy, the Sabbath, presence, stable, sacrifice, the Sabbath. I don't think any of, yeah, I don't think that's I don't think we have that word yet. We're gonna have to find that word. Anyway, so I think we just have to finish that riddle and then we'll be done. We just have to find out, find that last clue, I think. Desecrate, okay, yeah. So there's that last word. Okay, so I'm having issues. I don't know what's going on, but I can't get back over to actually finish that riddle. Um, anytime I come over here, it just freezes up. Everything just freezes. I can switch over here. So I'm not really sure what's going on. I'm not sure if that's all that the demo has to offer, but I think that's what we're going to call it for the demo now. I don't know if I broke it again. I've <laughs> It stopped working like three times on me. Um, so I don't know if it's really more or not. If you guys wanted to check it out for yourselves and maybe do a full playthrough of it, like all in one sitting, because it seems like once I restart the game after the first playthrough it kind of messed everything up and i had to redo stuff you know what? that leaves something for you to figure out on your own also i apologize that i haven't been posting videos as much as i used to i am in the process of moving and i've got two or three other big projects that i'm working on with my company 13 palm trees so that's been tying up a lot of my time and then i've been slowly moving into my new place but once i get moved i will be back to posting at least twice a week and there's a possibility of weekly streams as well so if you haven't already it would be awesome if you could subscribe that way you won't miss a video or those live streams. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing it on YouTube or Twitch. We will see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this series and we will see you boop, in the next one. Bye-bye.